This is my love song to you Let every woman know I'm yours So you can fall asleep each night, babe And know I'm dreaming of you more You're always hoping that we make You always want to keep my gaze But you're the only one I see And that's the one thing that won't change I will never stop trying I will never stop watching as you leave I will never stop losing my breath Every time I see you looking back at me And I will never stop holding your hand I will never stop opening your door I will never stop choosing you, babe I will never get used to you We're gathered here today in this beautiful place, this is actually the place where Danny proposed. How long ago was that? In August. In August. So last, almost a year, in this very place he proposed. And we're gathered here under the watchful eye of our Heavenly Father to join together this man and this woman in a covenant of marriage. The marriage covenant is divinely ordained of God and is significant to the covenant that our Heavenly Father made with His most precious possession, and that is all of us, humanity. In fact, Jesus graced us with His first miracle at such a celebration as we're experiencing today when He turned the water into wine. The Apostle Paul... Sorry, my phone's messing up. The Apostle Paul declared marriage to be honorable and should not be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but soberly, reverently, and with the understanding that the vows these two make with each other today are binding unto death. So with this in mind, these two have come today to be joined in a holy covenant of marriage. Leanne. Do you take Danny to be your husband, to live together in a covenant of marriage? Will you love him, respect him, honor and protect him, and keep yourself for him and only him for as long as you both shall live? And Danny, do you take Leanne to be your wife, to live together in a covenant of marriage? Will you love her, respect her, honor and protect her and keep yourself for her and only her as long as you both tell her. That's a good thing. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 13 says that if I speak in the tongues of men and of heavenly seraphim but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give, or if I possess, if I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, love is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. Love never fails. Now I'm going to have you all turn and face each other. Do you want to hold your flowers? <laughs> Let your nerves go away.
I, Leanne Mullen. Thank you, Danny Hobson. To be my husband. To live together in a covenant of marriage. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad times. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. I, Danny Hobson, take you, Leanne Molly, to be my wife, to live together in a covenant of marriage, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad times, to love and to cherish, from this day forward, for as long as we both shall live. So if you just, uh, Leanne will go first. If you just pull that thread. Just pull it. Place it on Danny's finger and repeat after me. <laughs> Danny, with this ring, I do wed with all of my heart's affection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today, Leanne and Danny do not enter this marriage covenant alone. Leanne brings with her two beautiful, amazing, and vibrant children, Kenley and Canaan. And Danny brings his handsome and accomplished son, Daniel, their beautiful daughter, Ridley, and her mother, Karina. Over the years, you have all gotten to know each other, sharing meals, hanging out, and just spending time together. In a very short time, you have all shared some very life-changing moments. From the welcoming of new life into your world, and even just so recently walking through the process of saying goodbye to a dear loved one. You have all melded into a very modern-day, beautiful family. Daniel, Kenley, and Kanan, I'm going to ask you all to come come forward and you can hold Ridley if you want. It's easier. Yeah, if you want to stand by your dad. Daniel, Kenley, and Canaan, today your support and commitment to this marriage is evident and very much a blessing. Kenley and Canaan, your mom, and Daniel, your dad, want you all to know how lucky they feel every day that you are a part of their lives. You inspire them and you give them purpose. You are all amazing human beings and they are both so proud of all of you. So we're going to start with you three. You're already holding hands. And Leanne, if you'll repeat after me. Kenley and Kaylin. I have known you since the day you were born. <laughs> you are the two people who know me best in this world. You are the two people that know me best in this world. The ones I eat with every day. The ones I eat with every day. 
things I eat with every day. The first I see in the morning. The first I see in the morning. And the last I see at night. The last I see at night. You both are my strength and my world. You both are my strength and my world. And I love you more than anything. And I love you all more than anything. Kinley and Canaan. Kinley and Canaan. I love and trust Danny. I love and trust Danny. And I trust Danny's love for me. And I trust Danny's love for me. And I trust Danny's love for you. And I trust his love for you. Today, I desire to bring him into our family circle. Today, I desire to bring him into our family circle. All right, y'all are up. You can hold his hands if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> How much how to respect others <coughs> in the world around you. To do our very best to be there when you need us. To give you our love and attention. And always make you feel a part of our new family. All right, now I'm going to ask all of you three questions. This is for everybody. And if you all agree, I would like for you to answer with we promise. Do you promise to love, respect, and protect each other from this day forward? Do you promise to always try to be the best person you can be? And do you promise to accept the responsibility of being a family? and encourage and support each other and always believe the best of each other in your new lives together as a family. Right. If y'all want to stand, we're going to pray now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of marriage. Marriage is not merely a social contract. It is so much more. The melding of two lives and families into a permanent unity of one. It is, after all, your idea and not an innovation of mankind. It is the beginning of a new family and a new life together. Father, we know that a walk with you is the foundation for a strong family. You are the source of joy. And walking closely with you day by day produces a life rich with meaning and purpose and blessing. Today we celebrate the joining together of Leanne and Danny in the marriage covenant. And what a special time this is for all of us gathered here today. We also celebrate the blending of a new family unit. Father, our prayer is for the entire family that you would grant a spirit of peace and togetherness and love. We pray for your special grace for this entire family. And Heavenly Father, we celebrate a day of new beginnings. We are so grateful that you are with us for the journey, and we pray that it would be a blessed journey 
please shower your love, grace, and tender mercies upon this marriage and new family. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. 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 <coughs> Inasmuch as these two have stood before us this day and declared their love and commitment to each other in this family, I now, by the powers vested in me by the state of Tennessee and by the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, pronounce that they are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So let me introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Danny and Leanne Hobson. <laughs> this is my love song to you. Let every woman know I'm yours So you can fall asleep each night, babe And know I'm dreaming of you more You're always hoping that we make it You always want to keep my gaze But you're the only one I see, love And that's the one thing that won't change I will never stop trying I will never stop watching as you leave I will never stop losing my breath Every time I see you looking back at me And I will never stop holding your hand I will never stop opening your door I will never stop choosing you, babe I will never get used to you to you it's not a momentary phase you are my life i don't deserve you but you love me just the same 